Hey guys, it's Abby. As you guys saw in today's title, I have a bunch of different pen cases here. We're gonna look at my top 10. You may have seen this one in my P.O. Box video, and you may remember that Bai helped me buy these. I want to say a big thank you to them, of course. They have been helping me out with a lot of my videos lately, and it means a lot. And if you guys are looking to purchase anything from Japan, Japanese websites, they are there to help you too. If you want to order from Amazon, Rakuten, Yahoo Auctions, and other sites, they will help you out. They have a small fee, I believe it starts at $5, and of course it goes up depending on what you want to add on, insurance, and all that stuff. So if you are a shopaholic like me, I know that you will probably be able to make good use of them and get your money's worth. Anyway, this is going to be my top one, so we're going to come back to that. I'm going to start with number 10. Actually, let's look at 10 and 9 together because they are a similar type. I'm going to say this one's 10 because I personally like to keep things compact and it, you're going to find that ironic by the end. But anyway, this one is called Shellbro. I did try to choose pen cases that were from Japanese companies so I could show you guys stuff maybe you haven't seen before. Anyway, here is the Shellbro. As you can see, it kind of opens up like a clam. It's not that big, but... When you open it up, you can definitely see all of your pens at once. It does have a little netted pocket. I have a handful of my favorite Signo pens here, and they all fit. That actually is quite a few pens. I want to say probably like 20. Let me count. So they're 21, but close enough. So those 20 pens, it is a little bit of a tight squeeze, but they do fit. Look at When you open it up, you can see almost everything. So I say yes to the design not to the color. Would have liked this with a different lining, but this is what they had, so we'll take that. Next we have number nine, and this looks compact, but da -da, it opens up, so you can see what you have. Of course, not as many pens are gonna fit, but you have easy access to what you have in there, which makes it very convenient. Obviously, all 20 are not going to fit. This is half, I would say a good probably 15 would fit. That's 15, and of course, not all your pens are going to be the same size. You're going to want erasers, scissors, you know, but you get the idea. Moving on to number eight and seven, we have some roll-up pencil cases, and I've always been curious about these. I always thought that I probably had too many pens to make use of these. As you can see, this one is a Japanese-style print. I was thinking maybe Mr. Panda would want it for his fountain pens. This case is definitely for people who don't carry around a lot of pens, just, you know, the bare essentials. Maybe a mechanical pencil, a few pens. Probably could squeeze in a few more, but that is, that's pretty comfortable. This one obviously is made in Japan. It's SakiCollection.com. Not familiar with the brand. I forgot to mention the previous ones. This one is by Kokuyo. This one's Kokuyo as well. Next, it's another roll-up case, but it's an adorable one. A little polar bear and unrolls. Also the fun thing about this one is it comes with a pouchy one. So if you want to put like racers in there, pencil leads, even more pens. Let's see how full we can pack this thing and roll it. Considering we have to roll it, probably that's about good. More pens in here. Well, that's all 21. And there's Velcro on this. So if you don't want to be as bulky, you can take this and roll and go or just take this. It's kind of like a two-in-one. I don't know, what do you guys think? I like that you can see your pens, well, your main pens, let's say, all at once. And sorry, I realized it was upside down, so that's what it looks like. Also has this nice little cover to prevent them from falling out. Next, number six and five, we have the stand pen case. Now these are very popular right now. These are the silicone ones. Any stationary store you go into, you're gonna see this guy. They have it in other animals. Cats, dogs, bears, birds, I don't know. I'm not sure what this little strap's for. Let me know what you think it's for. But as you can see, you can put your pens in. Let's see how many will fit. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Probably comfortably, 12. So you put this in your bag, have it all zipped up. Do, 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 do. You get to school, put it on your desk, and voila! It pops the pens up. I'm really, really liking these easy access systems. And 
depending on the length of the pens, you can just keep it like that. And then this one is the same thing, but just L-sized. When I was looking for my pens, the one condition was that it held a lot of pens. Same design, and I think this will hold all 20. A little of a tight squeeze. It will close, so is okay, but is tight squeeze. Let's push it up. I mean, you still have pretty good access to it. I personally probably wouldn't jam pack it this full. Still unsure what this strap is for. It doesn't really say here. Would you put an eraser in there? I don't know. Now we're moving on to the pouch types. This is still a stand type, but a little different. This one, so it slides down this way. These are really popular right now too. The deru de, deru means like to go out, to come out. I think this will probably hold all 20. Let's see. That's really nice. I think it even hold a few more. So you carry it around like this, and then when you get to your destination and want to use it, you just pull it down. I like this design. I picked the purple one. They have it in lots of different colors and designs. I've seen stripes. I've seen character ones. This is probably one that I will use the most. Here is another one. Now this one I don't think was a Japanese brand, but it is high capacity. So there are three pouches. Pretty sure one pouch alone is gonna hold all 20. Let's put them in the middle there. Okay, so maybe not, but we can spread them out. And this is also nice because you can divide them by I don't know, like markers, gel pens. I don't, I don't know what pens you have, but you can put rulers in there, scissors, erasers, pretty good access. You will be doing digging with these, but if you're traveling and need all of your supplies like I do, does anyone else do that? Pack literally everything when they're going on like a two night trip? I like, I also really like this Chevron design, very pretty. I think this was a Japanese brand as well. Oh yeah, it's by the same company that makes the silicone ones, the Dihi Lit, the Light Lit, L-I-H-T lab. And I got this in a kind of dark, dark green. This one is really cool because you're gonna be able to see all your pens and it's almost like a binder. Two zipper pouches, this is the first one. If they aren't the type that have a little clippy, they probably will slide around and get bunched up. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pens. We'll say eight pens on both sides, so that's 16. And then more here. And, wait, there's another pouch. I think I said two. There are three. And this one is a little meshy pocket. So scissors, rulers washi swatches, business cards. This one will definitely hold a lot of my collection. So what do we say, eight pens? So one, two, three, four, five. So that would hold like 40 pens. And you probably could even pack in more if you felt the need to. Oh, and there's pockets on the outside too. Pretty good design. You could put some cute pins and stuff on here to dress it up. Finally, in the number one position, don't take this ranking too seriously, guys. These are just 10 cool pen cases that I found and wanted to check out myself and introduce to you guys. But anyway, this is my number one because it's Donald Duck. Access-wise, it's a pretty basic pen case. If you put a lot in there, you will have to dig around. Let's see what this pouch looks like. I already found a flaw. When you open this up, whatever's in the pouch is gonna fall out. I don't know how I feel about that design, but these little pockets are good. You always have little bits and bobs to put in a pen case. I mean, you could put a ruler on this side. It probably wouldn't slide out. Let's see if all 20 pens will fit. Probably could get five or so more in there, but that is a comfortable amount. I actually like this brand. I have a duffel bag that is outdoor brand. Really sturdy and good. So honest review, this one will probably stay at home. When I travel, probably will take this one because it turns into a stand. This one also has a lot of potential for travel. It's actually about the same size as the Donald one, but much better design. Well then, that was a lot of fun. This was definitely something that I could not do on my own. I wanna say a big thank you to Bai. 
And to you guys for watching this, let me know in the comments down below which one you thought would fit your needs the best. And also let me know if you like these type of videos. I would love to make more of them. It's always hard to know what item is the best and the easiest way to do that is to check it out yourself. So this has been a great learning experience for me. I hope it was for you guys and I will see you next time. Bye!